Welcome, Village in Motion. It is Monday, June the 3rd, and I tell you, it's really kind of cool outside this morning, but it's nice. And if you don't like hot weather, today's the day to go out because it's really not going to be hot at all today. At least that's what the weatherman's saying. But uh, since you're inside and you're <coughs> watching Channel 6, I have with me here in the studio Melissa Robson, who is one of our associate executive directors. She's one of two. Brad's the other one. Uh, and she's going to be telling some things about the special projects and all the different uh, construction that's going on around the campus and also about her latest project. And I'm going to let her tell you about it, okay? All right. Welcome. Good morning. How are you? Doing great. Glad to have you with us. Thank you very much. Delighted to be here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I don't it know is. how many people are watching us yeah, today right. <laughs> versus being out on the out in the community walking around. But if they're not watching us today, this time they can watch it 12, 4, 7, or 10 on the replay. Or they can watch us on YouTube in a couple of days, and then they'll be there forever. Well, there you go. Yeah, so. So it's all mastered. So, there you go. Um, today, my co topic's a conversation around my Ericsson, mm -hmm. and then some of the projects that are going on um, on campus. Okay. We have lots of things going on. So yes. for my Ericsson, we have about 30% of our residents that are Tremendous. actually live um, and utilizing my Ericsson for a variety of um, opportunities to get information mm -hmm. and communication. So that's really... Uh, been a positive thing for the campus right. and we continue to um, activate different residents as they need moving forward my focus is going to be on pc activation mm -hmm. we had a lot of the residents come out in the beginning to activate their mobile devices and now we're working with individuals who have their bigger home computers that aren't portable like a laptop to get okay. them activated in the month of june so if any of the residents are out there wondering hey i got my name on a list and right. melissa never called me i'm going to call you <laughs> we're going to make a plan and we're going to get you activated this month okay. we're not going to activate them we're going to activate their device their device well yeah yeah they're I mean, already I, they're correct I'm correct not. thank you for that so I, I just wanted to correct you on that so all of our residents are live yes they are. <laughs> but 30 percent of our of our residents have devices okay. correct that are now live correct okay that are actually utilizing my ericsson there you go correct okay. so thank you for that <laughs> um and some of the great projects that are going on on campus uh, village square as you know the terrace level is complete for the most part and um, the furniture's been moved in and it we it's beautiful good good i'm it's glad you really, like it really really nice I'm glad you like it. We have some movement within the furniture that we'll do once we move the puzzles back upstairs, but puzzles are temporarily located downstairs while we begin the lobby work, mm -hmm. which will start this week. As you know, right outside of the TV station, we're right. doing the hallways and the corridors, and then we'll start in the lobby area. And I'd say to anybody this morning, that they don't like the smell of paint, don't come down here. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And it can only get um, a little bit more mm. challenging um, yes. throughout this week because we start in the Woodland Skies this week so we moved woodland skies to the akatink room right. on saturday actually friday after dinner saturday they opened up in the akatink room um, and we're serving there for at least the next three to four weeks and till woodland skies are uh is back open i think it went well and we chose to um start over the weekend mm -hmm. just to uh support our residents when today if right. you will because on the weekend we know our volume is a little less so and our volume during the right. week is higher so it gave us an opportunity to work through some of our processes <laughs> and tweak things <coughs> to make sure that we can accommodate the residents so from what I heard from the team over the weekend it went well and I plan to pop down there a little bit later today and right. see how things are going as well. Well, that sounds good. I mean, you yeah. know, a lot of activity down here. Absolutely. The restrooms are still ongoing as far as the uh, restrooms on the first floor being renovated. So they should be finished, I hope, within the next two weeks. Okay, so, so they they're, not, they're not finished because they've taken down the little men. Uh, as far as I know, they're not finished, but they very well could be. I'll okay. check on that after we're finished. Okay. Um, if there's no little yellow men right. or women um, there outside of the restroom, right. um, then potentially they're finished, but okay. I'll just double check that. Yeah. The terrace level is absolutely finished, right. and we're working on some things we need to do with the doors. I've heard some feedback around the doors open in versus opening out, so and we're correcting that. Yes, correct. Okay. So we are correcting that, and we made the correction moving forward for all of the restrooms. So it was a good pilot for us right. here at Village Square on the terrace level to um, look at what was on the drawings and look at what we do to accommodate the residents mm -hmm. on campus to make those changes moving forward. Very, very good. I mean, 
you really on top on top of all this stuff that's going on well it's the team that's on top of it so i think i have a wonderful team here that supports all of our residents and supports me and we stay on top of those things and i really appreciate the feedback that we get from the residents mm -hmm. um, i'm not always able to be in lots of different locations at right. one time so i appreciate the active act activeness of our residents and their ongoing feedback with me, whether it's a phone call stopping me in the hall or emailing me, right. um, that, that people keep me in the loop as to what's going on. Uh, we've started our work at Town Center, as you know, right. um, with lots of things going on there, and um, we'll continue to make progress there. Really delighted with the um, dining team and how they've done really well oh, in superb, Fireside superb. and accommodating our residents for yes. lunch and dinner and our staff and the to-go and take-out meals have gone really well. Yes. You provided me with some feedback as well as some yes. other residents. So very happy with that process yes. and uh, we'll continue to make sure we're fine-tuning that but that we continue to make sure we're meeting the needs of everyone. Yeah, it's amazing to me how smoothly things have gone so far, uh, especially with dining. Uh, Fireside, Atomic Cafe is like, it's never never changed. Right. I mean, you know, it just keeps on moving and it's a very uh, well organized, uh, very effective um, operation. Well, knock on wood. Yes. And I would say it's all about the communication. Yes. What I've learned very, very quickly um, in my role here is about communication, communication, communication. Yes. It's one of our greatest. Um, um, vehicles for making sure everybody is kept in the loop and sometimes as much as you try you sometimes don't get it to everywhere right. all the time uh, I frequently am asked about my Erickson and yes. I think I've talked about it for six months but um, communication communication is the key to everyone's success and making sure that everybody's in the loop with what's going on you talk about my Erickson in order to have my Erickson you've got to have an electronic device correct uh, and it gets internet correct uh, on it do you have any idea how many residents have such a device? Um, I would say at least, I'm going to say a good 60% of our residents wow. have some type of a device. Okay. Now that might be a tablet, that might be a smartphone, right. that might be a PC or a home computer. Okay. So I would say the 30% of the residents that we have activated their devices right. we're on um, have, have those I would say portable devices. Okay. The next leg of the journey is really to connect with our residents who have home computers. Right. And I would say there are a multitude of residents who have both a home computer mm -hmm. as well as a mobile device. Right. So we're making those connections during the month of June um, to help facilitate their access to information. You mentioned an iPad. <clears throat> uh, can we get my Ericsson on an iPad and can we get it on a reader? Excuse me. No problem. Um, I'm not sure about the reader. Okay. I know we can get it on a tablet and you can get it on an iPad. Um, and especially any product that you can actually get to the internet mm -hmm. by typing in myericson.erickson.com in your browser or by downloading the app. Ah, okay. And it, it's so simple. <clears throat> it is. Yeah. And I understand that you have been uh, helping some people get on by sending an email. Correct. And describing. Correct. I apologize. No, no My, problem. Uh, Allergies. Yeah. <clears throat> so if there are residents out there that are work during the week and they haven't been able to get to an activation session, or if there are residents who are very savvy with mm -hmm. technology right. and their PC computer, you can just email me, melissa.robson at ericsson.com and send me your email address right. and then I can activate you on my end, your computer, and then I'll send you an email that lets you know that I've act made an activation and I'll walk you through each thing that you need to do. Wonderful. And if somebody for, didn't write all that down in regards to how to get in touch with you, all they've got to do is go <coughs> use their uh, directory, the resident Correct. directory. Correct. Uh, and that's got the, your, everything in regards to it. Uh, so got always got a way to communicate with you. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. With what's happening with my Ericsson, we will be able to get, and we are able to get, which I really appreciate, our number of meals mm -hmm. each day. Absolutely. And I understand what, it's three times a day that that's yes. updated? Correct. It's updated after 8 a.m., after 2 p.m., and after um, 2 a.m. Mm, okay. So after breakfast, after lunch, and after Correct. dinner, right? Correct. Okay. And if there's an error with that, what do we do? Email me okay. or call me. And then I'm working uh, with our IT individuals to mm -hmm. make sure that there's some accuracy. In the very beginning, uh, there were some challenges with um, the relay of information. 
but in the past 30 days I haven't had any residents that have had issues. Wonderful, wonderful. That really should cut down then on a lot of people having to go in and say, you made an error in, in logging me in or, or you missed mine or you added somebody else's to mine. Correct, correct. It's one of the um, biggest uses of my Ericsson is to go in and check the meal balances mm -hmm. as well as to see what's in the dining um, areas, what the specials are right. and what the different menus are. So. Um, if, if you're having any issues, you can let me know. Um, and it has cut down on residents having to go to the dining venue right. and ask to speak with a manager and verify the information. Yeah. We've got a lot of other things coming down the pike uh, it, it, as far as my Ericsson. Hmm. Um, so the Embrace Wellness is going right. to be there and that icon is there, but there's not a lot of information behind it. Correct. We look to be able to have residents complete various forms. Um, so such as if you're leaving the community, you could be able to sign in and sign out in that way and use those forms. Uh, work orders for general services, other things will be on there as well. So lots of things to come mm -hmm. um, over time uh, with my Ericsson. So I'm hopeful that we'll continue to increase um, um, residents activating various devices uh, as we move forward. So in the future, mm -hmm. we'll be able to sign out and sign in using my Ericsson. Correct. Correct. Oh, wonderful. So you wouldn't have to necessarily go down to the front desk. There'll be a form there right. um, that you can actually complete and then um, send it in, uh, as well as when you're back, sign back in to let us know that you're in. Uh, also, if you're going to have visitors, right. we look to be able to have that as an automated process too there so you can let us know that you are going to have um, visitors on campus or family members, et cetera, so that you can... Um, have that good communication and dialogue. Tremendous, tremendous. Technology, technology, oh, technology. Yes. Well, one of the other things that I enjoy about my Ericsson is the fact of, of being able to see everything that's on the scroll, mm -hmm. uh, as, as opposed to having, <laughs> excuse me, rather than having to watch Channel 8 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in regards to it, that I can do it at my leisure when I'm you know, sitting, for, waiting for a meeting or whatever Correct. along those lines and, and go through and see, see what's on the scroll. Correct. And we are actively working with um, the team, Diane and the uh, station uh, team, right. as well as various leaders within the community to really make sure that we're improving and enhancing the scroll. Right. I know we've gotten some feedback about the font size and the yes. colors and the different things, but we're actively working on making sure that we're providing the right information on, in the right venue as well as on the right types of slides. And right. so it's been a work in progress and I really appreciate everybody's patience and we can only get better is what I tell everybody. Yes. So keep the feedback coming, but Diane and the team um, have really been helpful in trying to help us uh, establish standards and guidelines for what what needs to be on there. Well, I really appreciate the fact of you being sensitive to making sure things uh, can be seen by those of us who are colorblind. Yes. I mean, that's from my standpoint, it's very, very important because I am colorblind. Correct. And, uh, you know, it's very nice to have things that aren't red and green together. Right. <laughs> we do our best. Sometimes I, I, I worry that we'll have a hiccup, but we can only continue to make progress right. with it. So that's really great. With the switch gears, mm -hmm. uh, with the projects that's going on, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be complete with Town Center, no, excuse me, with uh, Woodland Skies, uh, with Village Square. How soon? So our goal is to have Woodland Skies back open before July 4th. Okay. But I'll, it has everything has to come together, if you will. Right. It's not just the carpet and the paint uh, and the work that they have to do there, but making sure that we have the furniture. We want to really have everything put back together um, and have the least amount of impact to our residents. So our hope is by the end of June, okay. uh, the team has done a wonderful job, Cyprus, in making sure that we stay on top of things and everything is kind of pre-ordered, mm -hmm. if you will, and that things are wor working out right. smoothly. So our hope is that we'll be completed before July 4th. If not, then we should be opening right after July 4th oh, okay. and putting things back upstairs in Woodland Skies. The ter the um, the uh, lobby level right. should also be completed, I'm gonna say by the middle of July. Oh, okay. So we look at all of the common areas that impact our residents to probably be right. finished no later than August. Oh, great. Um, and then we're working on our enabling projects mm -hmm. so that philanthropy can move, because philanthropy will be moving down to pastoral ministries. Right. And then uh, dining services will be moving as well to the current security location, if I'm correct. Yeah, on, on the first floor of Canterbury <clears throat> Square. Correct. 
And so we'll be doing work behind the scenes in those areas for the next couple of months, meaning in those offices that won't impact our residents so that finance and administration can move over here to Village Square right. and then ultimately uh, provide that space over in town center for the work that needs to be done there for CVS and for sales to move over. So you're looking at everything except the enabling projects to be through by the middle of August? I mean, correct, okay. correct, okay. except for the, the movement of philanthropy and okay. um, uh, dining services. Okay. Correct. Very good. And then I would say once those enabling projects get pl completed and they moved and uh, we move in, uh, we move towards doing construction in that space, we uh, finance and administration will probably be moving over later on okay. this year towards the latter part of the year once all of that work is done. When things start to cool out. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, very nice though. And it, it will all be nice and fresh. All nice and fresh. Nice okay. and fresh for sure. Speaking of that, Woodland Skies is getting all new furniture? Mm -hmm. New chairs, new tables, in addition to the carpet and the paint. Okay. Uh, lighting is not changing at this point, um, and um, the ceiling tiles are not changing. I know I got a lot of feedback about acoustics in right. there and sound, et cetera. We are looking to make those changes in about two, two years when we actually come back and do uh, a repositioning, more, more than just a refresh in that okay. particular area, but for right now, we believed that we needed new carpet, new paint, mm -hmm. um, and new tables and chairs, and so that'll be what we're getting. And then we're going to be refinishing the bar mm -hmm. as well as the hostess stand, so everything right. will look nice and fresh and just Very almost nice. like brand new. Wonderful. And we've almost finished all, everything at Garden Ridge, right? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I would say the initial part of Dogwood Commons and the opening of Dogwood Commons has successfully occurred. But now we're stepping back, and it's the clubhouse that's mm -hmm. getting repositioned. Um, and we start the work there the middle of June to the latter part of June. Okay. And the initial phase of that project is going to be installing a new elevator that right. will actually be in the front. Um, of Garden Ridge when you first go in and then redoing the um, conference rooms there and the executive conference room that's right up front right. and repositioning um, the front desk area. So the first floor uh, is is the major part of the repositioning that's going right. to happen with the resident rooms that are on that first floor um, as well. So that work is going to start in about June okay. um, and um, we're doing a lot of pre-work to make sure that we have emergency access and that family members and everyone can still come and go in Garden Ridge um, and that we prevent as much chaos over there as possible. <laughs> so. Um, the team is really focused on what do we need to do for the right exit and entry because that f the elevator going in the front mm -hmm. is going to require a lot of different vehicles that will be utilizing the circle right. and utilizing the front um, space. So and take the elevator room. will actually be on Garden Ridge side of the street. Correct. It will not be on independent living side of the street. Correct. Okay. Correct. It'll be right when you first walk in Garden Ridge to the right, that first hallway to the right, right. is where it's being installed. Okay. And it'll only go up, I believe, to the second floor. Um, and it's really to help with access to the outpatient rehab right. unit that we're going to have. Um, They'll be in the front enhanced. of the building. Correct. Okay. Very Easier nice. access. Very nice. So that takes care of, of two of your projects. Mm -hmm. And you have some more? Um, well, I would say I'm partnering with Brad okay. on others. So um, one of them would be the new parking deck that's right. going in uh, directly across from uh, town center in the H lot. Mm -hmm. So we're continuing to work through the timing of that. We still need to get our permit approved, probably starting the latter part of August okay. um, with that initiative as well. Um, and then I would say there are a variety of other projects going on on campus in reference to the hallway refreshes and just a lot of uh, movement around making sure that we're delivering on our capital projects. Right. Very, very good. As well. Is wow. there one I left off? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any one that you left off. I, I think you've covered all of the ones that I know about in regards to it because you're not responsible for it at Town Center. No, I'm partnering with Brad to make sure that I can support Brad okay. with what's going on in Town Center, um, as well as he's partnering with me so that if anybody runs into either one of us, we're pretty much up to speed with what's going on right. and can support each other. Sounds wonderful. Thank you. Sounds wonderful. And it's really nice to, to have two associates. It's the first time in our history mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Green Spring. Well, there's a lot of things going on on this campus. Yes. It's a very, very, very active campus yes. for sure. It really is. With all the things that you're doing, mm -hmm. 
What's the most favorite? I would say my most favorite um, out of everything is the day-to-day -day engagement um, with our residents. Mm -hmm. And I've really, really enjoyed um, launching and deploying my Ericsson. It's really given me as a new leader in the community an opportunity to engage with residents that otherwise I might not have been able to get to know mm -hmm. and to visit with. And from time to time, I've had residents just come to the different uh, sessions and just to check in with me and tell me that they're using the app sure. or that they're they're really appreciating the app um, or they've come by um, and they, they'll wait in line, which amazes me to see Melissa. Mm -hmm. So Melissa can activate their device there when I have other people there. <laughs> so I've just really in, in, enjoyed engaging with the residents Wonderful. and getting to know them um, in, in, a, in a great way. Very, very good. Well, we're just so glad that you're here. Well, thank you. And you've done a wonderful job and uh, keep up the great work. Thank you so much. I'm really enjoying it. Thanks. Thank you.